So as you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen, I was placed in a bad sport lobby a while ago, all for blowing up other players' cars. Also, you can see the amount of time, but originally it was at 2 years, 9 months, and 20 days. But I got out of it by having somebody basically remove me from bad sport a few months after it happened. But you can see my stats. Yes, I actually did drop over 12 people for every death they handed me. That was all legit. You're probably wondering why I'm a level 1. Well, believe it or not, I was deranked literally less than 10 minutes after I got out of the bad sport lobbies. I was ranked 241 prior to this happening. And I not only lost my rank, but in a second you'll see the modder also gave me a negative 2 million score, so I could never rank up again without another modder ranking me back up, obviously. And I lost everything that came with that too. As soon as I leave my apartment, I can't get back in. None of the three apartments I had show up on the map at all, which also means other than the vehicle I leave with, I can't use the other ones. And in a few seconds you'll see that I lost most of my contacts in the game as well. My theory is... When I get re-ranked back up, I'll get most of that stuff back because I'm still spawning inside of one of my apartments. I think the game just doesn't know what to do because I still own them technically, but I have to be level 5 to own them. So what I've done in the meantime is I created a new character and started doing races and everything all over again, which I never thought I'd do again, honestly. But at least it worked and I just made it to level 50 on my second character not too long ago. And yes, I did contact Rockstar Support to get out of bad sport. As far as contacting them, don't waste your time doing that. It's exactly like contacting Microsoft about something. You spend an hour and a half on hold, and that's if you're lucky. It's usually longer than that, listening to shitty music the entire time. And when somebody does answer the phone, that person usually has no idea about what you're talking about. And nothing in the world is their fault at all, even though it's their product and they're responsible to take care of their customers and their products you paid for. Basically, what I was told was, they can't do anything at all, blah blah blah, and I asked the guy, why are clean players getting put into bad sport lobbies just for blowing up cars? And for that amount of time, you would think that only people that cheat or use mods would be in there, especially for that long. I mean, three years? Come on. Then I asked him this, what are players supposed to do when somebody's in a bulletproof Karuma and starts shooting at you? Shooting back is like throwing a rock at a tank. After I said that, I heard six words that every company says when they don't know what else to do or say. And those six words are, We're sorry you had this experience. And they always say it sarcastically or it's like they're flipping you off while they say it. So you can only imagine how the rest of this conversation went after I heard that. And it's funny how some modders out there will fix the problem for you and the company that created the game will do absolutely nothing at all. Also, I think that people on GTA in general just don't get the fact that killing is part of the game. Look at everything that can blow up cars. The homing launcher, RPG, grenades, sticky bombs, mines, the minigun, helicopters, tanks, jets, I can keep going. They put all of that plus the other 30 guns in the game for a reason. The point is, when you put all of that into a game, how can you expect nothing to go wrong with how the bad sports system currently works? I just don't see why decent players have to be banned or put in a bad sport lobby for something as small as blowing up a few cars, especially for that amount of time. Now the three ways that you can get out of bad sport, the first way is to have people commend you while you're still in a normal lobby and do that about 5 to 10 times. Most people know that already, but don't make the mistake of clicking find new session as soon as that's taken care of. I made that mistake and it didn't save, and I was placed in a bad sport lobby immediately. The second way is to have someone with a mod menu get rid of bad sport for you, which is extremely hard to find. It's very specific. Not a lot of people have exactly what is needed for that. And the third way is to obviously just wait for time to expire on bad sport. And whatever you do, don't listen to Rockstar when they tell you that you can do missions to get out of it. It's a lie that may have worked in the past, but it doesn't work anymore. I hope this experience helps someone, and if you've had any type of similar situation happen to you, let me know in the comments section below. Have a great day, and I will catch you next time. Peace.